reviewer, a car reviewer, it's easier. I definitely invite you to come and review today this car with me because it's insane. Look at this, I'm super wet. I'm crazy wet, it's super cold and it's raining like crazy and guess what? We have to do this review together. And if you wanna find out everything about this new Opel Corsa facelift 2024, stay with me in this video because I will do a full review and I'll explain you everything about the car. Also, if you wanna see the test drive with the same car, I have a separate video on my channel, also consumption test and so on. So check them out if you wanna see all the information about this car on the channel. Let's start with technical data before we go outside and let's hoping the rain will stop. And if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out Gallicker Garage because here is the car and they already have a 2,100 francs discount on this version. So the price are pretty good if you're in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check them out. Link will be in the description, also on the screen. The version that I have with me is the GS version here in Switzerland. That means it's kind of the middle range version. It's a really beautiful, sporty uh, design. You will see when we go outside because it has beautiful colors. I really like this combination of colors, kind of a raw red, uh, orange, a little bit different red. It's a little bit darker and also in combination with piano black look really gorgeous it comes with a 1.2 liter petrol engine and an automatic transmission now the basis price the starting price is 27,640 francs and with plus optionals like here we have this infotainment package with navigation system 1,650 francs plus the color 800 francs the price should go up to 30,090 francs but with this discount at Gallicker garage the price will be 27,990 francs in Switzerland in Swiss francs in some country in other countries the price it's much much better so check out in your country what is the price if you're not in Switzerland let me give you some technical data and then we will start the review 101 horsepower 1325 kilograms and 5.6 liter the estimated consumption if you want to see the real consumption i have a separate video so check out on the channel there you see the real consumption on my test 126 gram co2 emission it's in c class efficient class and now i want to go a little bit deeper to give you more details about the car as i said it comes with a 1.2 liter petrol engine three cylinders in line combined with an automatic transmission eight speed also you can get it with a manual six speed manual transmission it's a front wheel drive system 101 horsepower 205 Newton meters 192 km per hour is the top speed of the car 0 to 100 in 10.8 seconds the tank volume 44 liters and the turning circle 10.7 meters in terms of space the car have 309 liters in the trunk and if you fall down the seats completely you will have 1000 81 liters so those are the most important technical data now if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask i will answer with pleasure let's start the review guys and then in the end we will make the conclusion so yeah let's go in the rain this is the key the same key as peugeot and also now opal use it what you can do with the key lock and unlock the car just simple as that it comes also with electric folding mirror this is also great and i like the fact that under the mirror it comes also with an led light that illuminate the floor in the nighttime and it looks really fine you can open the trunk because it doesn't have an automatic lift gate but you can actually unlock it so if you want to unlock just the trunk you can do that very simple from the key when you look from the back of the car actually is no change it's the same platform it's basically the same car with a facelift and most of the facelift it's made in the front but also on the rear we have a little bit of changes most of them down there on the bumper a little bit maybe on the spoiler there that looks much more sportier and nicer but basically if you look from the back you don't know it's it's other version it's a facelift now if you go a little bit in the front then you will notice the big changes and here you can see the new headlights the new grille and also different bumper there it looks much more nicer much more modern and i really like it now i want to turn on also the lights because i want to show you the lights and also the fog lamp the fog lamp it's on the rear down here and it is a normal halogen light so no led light on the fog lamp but the great part is that we have led lights on the number plate also this is the reverse camera here i will show you when we go inside the reverse camera resolution it's very very good 
Also another change that I like very much is the new logo right here in the back at least here on the GS version it's a beautiful black I should say piano black glossy logo look wonderful and then you have the Corsa writing on the back also with this piano black it looks really really wonderful in combination with this red dark color I think the piano black look really nice and also somehow they integrate those tail lights and we have the same signature right here as the opal have also on astra then you have turning signals led lights so the tail lights and the turning signals on the rear they are led lights and this is great and they look also quite quite nice uh, they still keep that signature there down here on the bumper lovely bumper six sensors on the rear some light reflector on the side a nice element here for sportiness it looks much more uh, aggressive on the bumper so I like the lines and the shape of the bumper down here is the exhaust pipes and we can see it actually one of the last car where you can see the exhaust pipe so that's really cool enjoy it uh, if you buy the car and then up here tinted windows on the rear tinted windows on the side this is the roof spoiler one of my favorite piece on the car it looks so spectacular so sporty look at the angles look at the lines it looks so so nice then you have the brake lights LED there there it's the radio antenna uh, that looks super nice and I like that it's a dual B color uh, car so you have all the roof even the A pillars here go with piano black and then down here we have the red around the windows we have some rubber on the upper side downside and between the windows on the A, on the B pillar we have some piano black also piano black mirrors lovely mirrors I also like the mirrors a lot LED light turning signals big mirrors great visibility and also the blind spot technology it's right here in the corner then the handles pretty much simple handles the door quality is very similar with the previous version quite good quality and here it is the tank 44 liter uh, tank I will go a little bit faster because outside it's a pleasant weather don't want to stay too much in this weather down here we have uh, if I'm don't I think how much they were 16 inch rims right where is it here ah, come on man well, I don't remember yeah 16 inch rims I was right and the, on the rear comes with normal brake discs and on the front we have ventilated brake discs uh, and Michelin tires overall they look nice the rims in combination with the car design and color I think it looks really nice up here on the windshield it comes with a camera that read can read the traffic speed limits lane assist work with the lane assist as well and then some sensors for light and raining and when we come from the front here is the big change here it's a totally kind of a totally different design also we have LED lights on the headlamps not metrics but LED lights and they are super useful and they look also very nice turning signals LED uh, light as well and also the daytime running light is transforming down here when they are close pretty big pretty useful and I like the grill it looks so electric I should say it's quite close so the grills are disappearing these days almost on all car manufacturers and again we have integrated in this piano black the logo opal logo very nice some air intakes here some air intakes here here's the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake all that safety features and even down here on this area you have piano black it looks wonderful all this area here on the down part look quite cool and even this element here for sportiness but the air should go around the car six sensors on the front as well I don't want to open the hood because it's quite raining but right now on the screen I will add an image with what it's under the hood with the engine with a 1.2 liter petrol engine three cylinders in line here in the trunk this is the way you open it very simple very very simple it's a manual lift gate so you have some handles on the upper side this is the entrance pretty big for the shape and size of the car from my point of view it's more than enough to carry a lot of items in the city and even in a weekend to go to some short weekend holiday uh, you can fit in here a lot of stuff I think even with a child you can do that without any problems it comes also with this protection that I take it out so you can see a little bit better how it looks and it doesn't have a flat floor it has kind of a 20-25 centimeter deepness some hooks normal uh, halogen bolt light yellow light there on the side and here it's plenty of storage space you can put even a spare tire here without any problem 
but yeah in some country like switzerland you don't need that the streets are too good for that if you want to fold the seats down to carry long items you have to do it 60 40 so this is the way you fold it down relatively simple you don't have a flat floor again you have probably 10 centimeters here is normal for the category and the class of the car so this is the space you can fit in here a lot a lot of things without any problem so i'm surprised in terms of practicality i think it's more more than okay from my point of view this is the seat belt the entrance is also big because you have the windows on the door and yeah this is it this is the entrance it looks nice and also on the down on the legs room you have some storage space with the transmission tunnel of course right there anyway let me put everything back if you want to fold down the window it's not working it's locked from there but keep in mind you can fold it almost all the way down because you have another fixed window here in terms of quality you have plastic almost actually everywhere you have plastic but if you look from the distance the design is pretty nice then you have the button for the windows here is speaker here is the handle and some storage space for the drinks big entrance because they install the windows on the door that means big entrance and also better visibility from the passengers in the back relatively big entrance and here you can see also those seats most of them made in a fabric material a textile material pretty nice very comfortable i sit on them and they are super comfy and they look also nice you can install two child seats here in the back you have two easy fix and you have a flat floor here that means even the third person can sit there in the middle relatively fine but you don't have an armrest here behind the front seats you have soft material so soft material i like that that is not plastic here but also between the seats here in the back you don't have any vents any usb ports and that's something that i wish to see on the car let me go inside finally check this out guys the best i think this is the worst raining in a review that i ever do and i did like hundreds of reviews and and videos <laughs> with cars and i think today was the the worst rainy day and i really definitely have to do this video i have a few hours time so uh, I have to finish it now I adjust the seat the driving seat in my driving position so I have to go my, behind myself and I'm 173 centimeters guys just to make an idea and this is the space behind myself uh, over here I have like four fingers I'm 173 centimeters so for me it's more than fine and on the legs room it's okay it's not super good but it's it's more than fine uh, at least for me and I can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seats and I don't have any space here under the knees so it's not like electric cars it's really good and also outside visibility it's pretty fine because they build one big window until here the visibility it's okay so relatively uh, pretty fine here now in terms of quality of the roof i should say from one to ten i will give it a six up here you have some leds i like that free led light so plenty of light here and then in the middle you saw it before if i go in the middle completely in the middle you have this big transmission tunnel right there not huge but pretty big this is the space a little bit less space on your knees here it's soft here i like that they build also the middle seat for pretty good comfort for the person in the middle here you have less space maybe two fingers over the head and if you want to stretch the hand not so much so not so much maybe short trips will be just fine in the middle surprisingly and sadly because it's pretty comfy i mean it's soft down soft on the back it's comfortable in the middle too bad that you don't have too much uh, space but i think it will be fine also for medium trips we will go in the front and we will talk about the new multimedia system that i find it super cool they share it with peugeot and it's super nice only with slightly different graphics new digital cockpit uh, steering wheel it's super nice as well at least on this version it comes with shift by wire transmission eight speed super nice it's cleared up a lot of space there and surprisingly on this version we have an armrest that's adjustable so ooh, pretty nice anyway let's go in the front to talk about those things there uh, here we have a slightly different 
difference and the difference is that not all the door it's made in plastic here we have leather everywhere in this area and also here leather and soft material up here the same plastic but nice trim some plastic glossy gray here and then we have storage space pretty good storage space and here it's a speaker and here we have the buttons for the windows for the mirrors electric adjustable mirrors folding a mirror electrically this is the entrance in the car pretty good entrance in the front as well and from this angle you can see one more time a little bit better those seats that from my point of view look just wonderful and you have some leather on the side in the front and other than that textile material everywhere and they are big they are bright so you have a good comfort on them uh, so from this point of view it's fine manual adjustable seat so you have to adjust it manually i love the fact that you have aluminum pedals the same pedals as peugeot use it as well and here we have controllers for the lights and the lights position and also the brightness of the cockpit and then here we have some vents man look at the vents they feel really good quality and also you have this glossy piano white oh we have piano white here glossy nice then we have some soft material here anyway let me go inside all right so if you want to adjust the steering wheel up down forward backward you can do it from down here up here you have a speaker on both sides and they are very similar with the peugeot ones and here what i notice when i test drive it but check out the test drive is that it's kind of big this area so you have a little bit of blind spot there but but what i like the most here in the front is the steering wheel i have to say steering wheel it's crazy premium the quality it's leather great great amazing grip uh, nice design so super good quality the steering wheel and I, I pretty pretty like it it's kind of sportier and the way it turn it feels quite sportier and i like it I really like it then you have physical buttons here for cruise control and you have here physical button for a different uh, volume and different functions then you have some pedals behind the steering wheel if you want to go and change the gears manually you just go here press this m and while you're driving you can change the gears from here from these pedals the cockpit digital cockpit quite nice good resolution very good visibility from the driver point of view through the steering wheel super good visibility and from here you can turn and change different views and you can see you have different views you can see the navigation you can see the driving information in the front uh, for adaptive cruise control emergency brake you can see the dials left and right when you accelerate you can see there the rpm the computer and the consumption there of course you can see the consumption on the last kilometers and then you can see personal two you can personalize and customize depend how you want it personal one minimum and navigation is my favorite anyway great that you can customize it if we go here what i like very much is that we have this armrest in leather that it's adjustable man and it's so so useful and you can open it you can put a few things inside there you have two cup holders some storage space some chrome different driving modes you can change from here so you have three different driving modes eco normal and sport mode so you can change it from here every time you change it change also the color electronic handbrake uh, shift by wire transmission this is the parking this is the way you change the gear super simple this is the uh, motor engine actually start stop engine uh, lane assist and then here you have some storage space for your phone plus 12 volt port and USB C. Then a little bit higher, we have the climatic system from where you can actually control and uh, command different function plus heated seats uh, heated steering wheel from here you have it on the steering wheel useful and here we have a huge glow box i mean peugeot cars and now opal cars have huge one of the biggest glow box on the market they are incredible big i love those glow box and then you have a very nice design very clean very simple design and then soft material everywhere you have those vents here they feel super okay as quality and then piano white here i like that and then you have the start stop engine button and very nice integration on the screen here the new multimedia screen with some shortcuts you can lock the car from here you can go to home you have the wheel for the volume you can go to uh, vehicle settings and if you go to function you have all the safety features right here like speed limit recognition traffic sign recognition blind spot alert traffic uh, driver alert and if you go up you have automatic braking system traction control 
and so on all the safety features you find it really fast through the through the shortcut uh, the only thing that i notice is that screen is tilted up so from here as a driver you see it a little bit higher i wish it was like tilted to the driver and a little bit straighter so you can see a little bit better but it's fine you can get used with it depending on how you set the um, the seats as well and then of course you have like free pages it's very similar with what Peugeot uh, come with these days it's crazy crazy responsive and very very useful and nice you can customize and add different pages you can move around the navigation you can move around climatic system you can choose wherever where to be and stuff like that and this is super useful then the thing is that let me show you you have the climatic system where you can not only uh, adjust it from the physical button but you can adjust it also from here you can choose the directions and stuff like that you can put it on auto super super simple then you have date and time help hey opal you have also the mirror screen you can connect your android auto and apple carplay to the screen this is awesome wireless this is good then you have the settings here where you find all the settings of the car uh, beginning with the profile you can set up a profile and save all the settings you can go to customize display customization from here you can customize both the display the cockpit and also this display here so the same as you do in, uh, in Peugeot you do it here in Opel as well screen color you can choose different color if you don't like green you can make it blue or even red but green was nice oh nice this is this color I love it I will leave it like that connectivity here Wi-Fi system language time date and different um, settings there cockpit brightness interior light brightness audio settings voice assist vehicle settings vehicle lights vehicle access and safety settings and then you have updates and um, connectivity settings and then we have application drawer where you have where you have all the settings here together plus the games this is the new setting that come from on all Stellantis group cars and you have tic-tac-toe hangman and 2048 games so you can play games in the car this is the new trend these days so yeah you have it also here and that's it I think I cover everything others you already saw it yeah you already saw it what else what else what's missing guys what's missing nothing I think I cover everything the setting is so ah, okay navigation is the last one the last but not least because navigation is very good it used TomTom -tom. and from what I noticed look it's, it's pretty pretty responsive I'm wet a little bit on the hands and that's why I probably need a little bit of time but look in general it's it's quite responsive and if you add a destination you can add a stop and you can see that's relatively fast and it's loading fast it shows you where to stop where are the gas stations and stuff like that you can see it in a 3d and however you want to see it you can see it so super nice i i really like it i really really enjoy all those new uh, features that the car come with up here you have of course the mirror without the lights and then some led lights up here sos button and info button and some microphones and you have this mirror uh, that's pretty much all the visibility is quite good in the mirror so that's pretty much all guys i think i cover everything in this video i hope you enjoy the video i hope you really appreciate what i did for you today in raining i will be really appreciate a like share subscribe if you find this video useful if you want to see the car if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out Gallicar garage i will leave the link in the description also on the screen so you can check them out they have a 2000 francs discount on this car from my point of view to make a resume I think that the price is great for the fact that we have the latest multimedia system from Stellantis Group with all this technology. I think you have a great digital cockpit with a good visibility, good comfort on the seats, a good quality on the steering wheel, a relatively good space. We have this shift by wire transmission, the new 8 speed transmission is great. More space here. Climatic system is great, visibility good, and it drives really nice. If you want to see how it drives, check out the test drive as well. But in general, I will give it from 1 to 10. I don't know in other countries what's the price, but I think I will give it a 9.9. .9. Yeah, 9.9. .9. I think it's a great car. I didn't manage to, to make lane assist to work. I'm not sure if it has lane assist. If it doesn't have, 
probably 9.8 will be my rating but anyway great car check it out definitely if you are on the market for a car in this class go and check it out because probably you will like it anyway that was the video thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe don't forget to check out the other videos thank you again to all of you that watching my videos stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys